Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Let's Play EverQuest Next Landmark and here we are at somebody's wonderful house on the Drift Tier 1 and uh, we are on Liberation server right this minute. I encouraged actually Crash Line an hour ago. I think they brought it up again but it doesn't matter what server you're on. They have some nice machinery here. So I thought we'd go and craft some stuff today and I think one of the things that you guys wanted me to craft was a grappling hook and some other fun stuff so I think we're gonna try doing that uh, I think one of the things that you wanted me to do is the scout emblem too so I think maybe that'll be the first one maybe we won't have enough resources for the the grappling hook actually maybe the grappling hook could, should come first because you guys seem to want that quite a bit so let's go here and go to metals and let's start going through all our metals here so apparently we have enough copper here for 65 bars wow Just increase this number here to 65 and hit craft. There we go. Let's get that crafting going, shall we? Uh, so today uh, it's going to be a great day. A new server is being launched, uh, which is going to be great. Uh, so hopefully I'll be able to claim a nice new piece of land. Uh, that would be really nice to get something near the spiral. Um, so I can build something like this, like this person, and offer, you know, some more useful resources to the local people rather than uh, just be another guy with an empty piece of land at spawn. <laughs> okay, look at that copper ingots, man. 18, 17, 16, 15. It's getting there. So as far as I know, this whole little window here is going to be a whole other interface later on. I'll let you do other options. This way you don't see any options when you go to other things that you craft. Uh, apparently later on it's going to have some like upgrades. You can like put ruins and some rare things that you find when you're exploring and stuff, which would be cool. So what do we need for the grappling hook? Oh, apparently there's more than one grappling hook. Wow, I didn't even realize that. Decent range and speed. Wow, that's cool. Simple one. Gets the job done. So that's uh, tin ingots we need. So let's get ourselves some more tin in here. Uh, hope they fix this little interface a bit more later on. It's kind of hard to like click the... There we go. So here we go. We're going to get some tin and then we're going to make our first grappling hook. This is going to be exciting. A lot of people have been bugging me about this on the stream to make a damn grappling hook. They want me to make a grappling hook. Kane, make a grappling hook. Kane, make a grappling hook. So we'll finally get a grappling hook here. And uh, it'll be pretty sweet. So here we go. Oh, cancel, cancel, cancel. Hopefully I didn't actually craft it. You know what we forgot? I don't know if there's any special properties on the cra uh, grappling hook. But we should put our crafting ring on. That's kind of important to be honest. There we go. Well, let's see here. So let's see if we didn't screw it up. Um, let's make sure I didn't have one in my inventory yet. Good. Okay. Woof. Grappling hook. Bronze one. Craft. Watch this be like some kind of epic legendary. And here is their grappling hook. Oh, I showed a legendary for a second, but hey, that's a rare one. Bronze grappling hook. 43 grappling shot speed, 2 grappling cooldown, 29 grappling rain speed, and 40 uh, grappling max distance. Woo, that sounds kind of cool. So I guess we get to try a grappling hook for the very first time here now. I think you have to hit E to have it show up in your inventory, or... Let's see... Nope, don't know how to use it. What was it they saying? Press E and it will go to your cursor. Oh, uh, maybe it's equipped item. Maybe it doesn't actually sit here. E to activate. Simply grappling hook, blah, blah, blah. Oh, there we go. It actually goes in one of your slots. There we go. 
Aha! Uh -huh. Whoa! Oh my friggin' god. Oh, so close, but not close enough. I wonder if I jump and try to do it. No, not close enough. I don't know if I'm not close enough or it's... Oh, there we go. Oh, and you actually lock on. That is so cool. So you can even, like, scale on the side of a building. That is awesome. So basically, guys, now I'm God. Whee! Spider-Man, he's the man. <laughs> this just became Just Cause 2. Yes, it did. Yes, it did indeed. Oh, and you can... The fluency of how they do it is amazing. Need to upgrade it for more distance. Need to upgrade it, yeah. I don't have the resources yet for it, but this will be more than enough for me for now. Oh, crap. I don't know if you can use it while in the midair. Oh, look at that. Let's see if I can use it on that one. Oh, you can. No. Oh, oh, crap. That is so cool. Oh. <laughs> Holy crap, this is like the best day on Earth. Can I do land shark? Oh yeah, guys. It's a bit derpy sometimes. It might be my range or just how I'm using it, but it definitely works well, though. Um, and I must say, for the control-wise, guys, it actually has quite a good, um, like uh, somebody said, just cause. It has that really good just cause feeling to it. Of course, I can't take an anchor somebody down and like have their friggin' tailgate blow up and all that fun stuff. But um, it does have a very fluid feel to it. It feels very good, which really matters. So they really did a good job on this grappling hook. We can just go keep going like this, I guess. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. That derped up on me. Oh. And if I jump while using it, it does cancel it. So that's probably a a good thing. So we can jump on the tree. There we go. Ah, this is so cool, guys. And if this isn't worth $100, I don't know what is. I think those branches are not... like a, Yeah, I think the branch is too invisible, those top ones. There we go. <laughs> so we need more distance if we're going to grab things further away, but... Oh, yeah. So, that is the grappling hook. Beautiful. Let's see what else we can build now that we've gone through the grappling hook. Uh, one of the other things that we can make were like boots that gave you a bit more faster speed. I like to look into that now. Um, actually, you know what I want to look at before we do that? Let's look into age. So we know we have the, the bonuses information here. Um, I wanted to see if the speed was in here. Run speed, 10. Oh, it does not tell you what your run speed on here. I was hoping it told me my total speed when I was hitting sprint. Okay, so one of the things that we want to build too is this puppy here. And this one here, basically, uh, this path, the blah, 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 hawk on it. Those who hold it feel slightly faster. So, this is something I wanted to always make, and we're going to finally make it. This shouldn't let me move a bit faster. I don't know how faster, but we will find out here. So, here you go. Two run speed. That sounds kind of cool. Uh, this patch is a small insignia of the hawk on it. Those who hold it feel slightly faster. So. Let's equip that on here. 
now you, you're starting to understand there's a lot of little accessories that you can get in this game. Um, do, 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 do. Oh, it's a bracer? Isn't that weird? Why do they have so many of these slots here? I wonder if that's broken. This is like identical to this slot, except it doesn't work. Huh. It's a bracer slot. That's kind of sucks in that sense. Yeah, they're a bracer, that's why. <laughs> I feel like they're actually working quite decently. I feel like I'm moving definitely faster, guys. Holy crap. Yeah, look at this guy. Let's pass him. <laughs> oh, I need a longer grappling hook. Yeah, this is definitely faster. Let's see what it says in the run thing now. Ah, oh, it doesn't say any increase, unfortunately. But that definitely works. Yeah, something's wrong with their uh, equipment here. Because they even have a picture of the boots here. I think this is like a trinket sort of uh, style here. But a lot of these seem to just be encoded as a ring slot. And I'm pretty sure, or bracers actually. So this is a ring. It should go in a ring slot. But yeah, it only goes in the bracer slot. And these here with the same uh, graphical icon as these are also bracers. So... Oh my, how rude of her. Um, so, uh, I got a whole bunch of world planks. Oh god, that takes so long. It's a lot of cutting down trees. And let's see what else we can make now. So one of the things that we definitely want to make in the near future is a new pick. Um, we right now have the silver steel pick, so I'm assuming the next one is probably the tungsten pick. Which I don't think we have enough tungsten. Actually, we have enough everything it looks like but tungsten. That's embarrassing. Maybe we have enough tungsten. Let's check that out. Um, tungsten, that was in tier 2, wasn't it? Ooh, nine tungsten. I don't think I have enough. I think I needed a bit more than nine. World wood, ugh. Yes. Well, at least I have 15. That's a nice amount there to uh, keep me satisfied, if you get what I'm saying. Um, tungsten, tungsten. Darn it, we're off by... Oh, God, we're off by... No. Oh, that's elemental. We're off by no tungsten. What? We have enough. We have enough. We're ready to craft tungsten. We get a new pick. We get a new pick. Uh, this is my craft one. Yes, this is my... No, that's my harvesting bonus. I need my crafting bracers. There we go. You guys ready for this showdown? Okay, you ready, guys? Oh, that's the silver one. That's the bronze one. Here's the tungsten one. So the tungsten one is almost as fast as my friggin' bronze pick, finally. Almost double the damage. Um, and 102 in size, so it's actually not much of a, uh, you know, big increase. Except it is definitely a lot faster and bigger size and damage than my silver steel pick. So overall, you know, thumbs up. I think finally I can put my bronze pick to uh, rest, if you get what I mean. So that wasn't too bad. Now, this means we can go and get gold, and then my next big uh, goal will be, I guess we don't need that on there, uh, is to get ourselves a new uh, axe. And the axe is a golden axe, kind of weird. Yes, I know it's a bit weird. Um, requires five world wood, kind of jerks, some elemental gold and some gold ingots, so that's really easy. That's probably like literally like maybe ten minutes of mining. Actually, we could probably do that now if we get running over there now. We got another fifteen minutes of this let's play to do.
I think that was really good though. I think we, we definitely did really well. So let's go to tier two, right? I think that's a good place for gold. Now you need to wish me luck going through this portal without crashing. That's where the luck is needed. It does freeze up here. Sometimes the loading screen doesn't show up at all. It's kind of weird. I'm pretty sure it's just stalled trying to connect or something, but it might just be faster. Oh, by the way, you remember they said, you know, Landmark's, uh, you know, blah, 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 a 64-bit game or whatever? My game right now is using 3 gigs, 942 megabytes. So there's your 64-bit game for you. Uh, it would crash at 1.5 gigs, which means they would have to minimize a lot of features in the game to provide 32 gig support. So... Uh, basically, without some modification, uh, pretty much all games are 32-bit, uh, uh, or not 32-bit, but 1.5 gigs max in RAM size for 32-bit operating system. So, uh, the game sounds fine. Your voice is lower, though. Oh, is it? I apologize. I'll see if I can increase it a bit more. Um, I don't know if game is the right way or the wrong way here. I'm surprised you guys can't hear me that well. How about if I... Hmm. Usually I don't sound too bad. Um, what about if I increase the sound a bit in the game a bit more, less? Would that work a bit better? Is the game overfighting my voice? Maybe that's what was happening. Okay, so we're in a tier two. We need to find desert, and there is no desert near us. Yikes. We might want to go through the portal again. Because we want to find a desert. Anyone know which tier 2 has a desert right at spawn? Uh, let's try narrows. This sounds very narrow. Okay. I am talking a little quieter because Chris is sleeping, so I do apologize. Um... I did turn the in-game support down, so you should be able to turn up your speakers a bit and not get drowned by the in-game sound. Oh, okay. There we go. So for people who are wondering, Narrows is a good desert start for uh, finding desert, I guess. So let's get ourselves some minerals and materials here. So right away, here's a marble. Oh, we can't get it right here at spawn. We just want gold anyway, so let's see if we can hunt down gold. Oh, I think this is a piece of gold already. Beautiful. Does anyone know what the zone I was just in? Um, the last, like, not the last one, but the tier one I was in where I was crafting? Because I want to go back there. It was a really good one. That's topaz. That's not gold. Arr. Yeah, I would like to go back there and craft after, so let me know where I was before. If anyone remembers. Okay, let's go up here. I can find out anyways after. Let's see if we can find some gold here. So gold, I think, is surface, isn't it? Draft. Oh, yeah. So drift? Draft? Okay. Do you know if they're planning on having mobs? Yes. They're going to have full PV support. Don't worry about that. Isn't gold usually on the surface? Gold is in tier 2, right? We're going to visit this guy's house anyway. So more topaz. Oh, gold is connected to tungsten, by the way. Thank you, sir. So we need to find tungsten to find gold. But for now, we're going to visit this guy's house. We're, we don't care about building or crafting at all. This guy's house is our goal here. You guys have been good. I'll, I'll let you see my character's butt a bit more now. Get you a nice, like, shot of her calves. Oh, God, it's blinding over here. 
So let's see what this gentleman or gentlewoman has over here. Oh, well, not much yet. But they have been playing around anyway. It's kind of cool. Gives you an idea of, like, what you can do. Oh, it looks like they were trying to build a statue here or an arch or something. It gives you an idea, like, there might be ways to... Well, there is there is ways definitely to do sculpting, but you can see, like, this is hand done by a player, so... I mean, you can you really try to do some sculpting in this game. It might turn out pretty cool if you're really good at it. Okay, let's look for tungsten, and the deserts are the best, I think. Tungsten. I gotta remember what tungsten looks like. It was like iron and tin type looking thing, I think. This or no, this is tungsten, I think, right? Yeah, that's that's like iron, just a different color, I think. Yep, this is tungsten. So it should be connected. Not always, of course, you know. But probably most of the time it's connected to tungsten, the gold. And do I have... Might as well put my one bracers on. So we got the master crafting. There you go. Wait, did I just dupe those or are they just pretending? Oh god, they're just pretending. Um, let's put that on. And there's something in here. Oh crap. This game and the invisible, yeah, when you log out and log in, things are just, yeah, weird. Uh, put this in, and we'll put that in, there you go. You know, Discovery's so little and it's for gems and I really don't care. Let's put my new boots in. I think boots are more important to me. Are you pushing a button to slide? No, that's just part of the character system. Sometimes you can actually jump and you, it works so perfectly. Sometimes you like jump funny to the sides and stuff too. Well, it looks really cool. But no, that's part of the game. They've just really, really done some really amazing animations. Let's get a little bit of zoom in here so we can see a bit better. So right now our mission is to find some gold. Unfortunately for my Let's Play, we probably will not find enough gold for the end of the Let's Play. But we'll do some more crafting next time, and we'll bring you guys along. And uh, we can be part of my axe building. I might actually go ahead and cut some more trees down and cut some more, uh, get some more boiled wood. So I can build maybe a couple of uh, golden axes, because they're kind of important to me. And there's the gold for you guys. There you go. So when in doubt, it's usually connected to another resource. There we go. This isn't a whole lot of gold, but it's a start. That's our first gold ever, so um, we need... Let's go here, and let's just set our metals here to gold. And we needed, I think, 10 gold bars? Oops, I didn't set it. We needed 10 gold bars, right? So if we pick this, at least it'll tell us uh, we have 84 gold. Uh, will there be uh, like another layer under this one in the full game? Um, I think there is going to be like mining like this style, I think, in the game. I, I don't know a lot about the other game. I've been more interested in this game, unfortunately. Because um, I knew this one would be coming out first, so I can't really answer a lot of questions there. I think a little later on today, I'm going to do a bit more research so I can help you guys a bit more about it. <laughs> this looks like Minecraft, they put effort in it. Well, let me tell you, looking at some of the code in Minecraft, they did definitely put some effort into Minecraft. The problem is, they're not doing something I think they should do, which is rewrite the game. Instead, they're slowly rewriting portions of the current game, and it's causing a lot of delays and problems, and they're doing that for the youngsters, because the youngsters always want updates, and the youngsters don't get, you know, their new block type or something every couple of months. Uh, they get really angry, and so overall, Minecraft is just, it's just in a rough place when it comes into the development portion of things. Um, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> This is basically my dream come true. This is, I've been telling Chris, I said, the future for like a really good game 
it is not going to be another 2D game, but a 3D game like Minecraft, but doing the survival aspects and doing everything like that, but not so cheesy. And amazingly enough, this game just shows up on the radar, so. This is iron. Ugh. And this is iron too, isn't it? Ugh. So gross. Wee. You guys like sliding, don't you? Wee. I thought you'd like that. No, I didn't press any special buttons. That's just me sliding like a babe. Oh, and here is some lovely tungsten. Actually, uh, you would be wrong about that. I don't like to be like argumentative on that stuff, but their mistake wasn't because they coded in Java. Java actually is pretty amazing uh, for what it does for calculations and stuff. Um, It's, it's the problem is the way they coded it and the reason they're not rewriting it. Uh, Java is a great engine to, uh, not a great engine, but a great language to recode the game in. Uh, they just need to change a lot of things up. The biggest issue is that Minecraft itself isn't really, uh, what is it called, thread safe, I guess. And it doesn't have a lot of threading in it. So when it comes to... Uh, trying to offload some of the tasks from the main thread onto its own threads, which means being able to support multiple cores on your computer, uh, that's when it starts to fail quite a bit. So, um, And which they're trying to change over time slowly. One of the things they want to do is basically offload so all the worlds are on their own core. So for a server admin like me, uh, when somebody lags in the nether, for example, it wouldn't lag as much for me uh, in the overworld or vice versa. Things like that are starting to happen, but... It'll take a while anyways. Minecraft is in Java, yes. Can you do PvP in dungeons? Um, we don't know what's happening about PvP. There will be some kind of dungeons underground too. Uh, but we don't know any word on actual PvP. We just know about the PvE at this point. I'm assuming they would probably add some kind of PvP down the road. Um, I highly doubt they'll have full open world PvP, but you never know. So this is either the, one of the biggest tungsten veins ever, because I saw some behind me, or it's just a separate vein right beside this one. But man, this tungsten is really going crazy here. Oh, and I think we found the gold. Let's get this roof caved in, so there we go. Alright, oh, there we go. So gold is a lot rarer than I expected, but that's fine. Uh, you YouTube fellows, um, we will see you next time. Of course, we're going to need a lot more gold here. Uh, and then we'll work on making an axe and maybe we'll do something else. Maybe we'll be able to claim that new plot that we want once the server comes up. So thank you guys on YouTube for watching and we will see you soon. And don't forget you can always check us on twitch.tv slash stonelegion as well. So.